What's all that for? I don't actually know. Oh, it's in English. I think they're just like, memories from the restaurant? I think there's a Japanese kind of grill, meat stick kind of restaurant. Anyway, hello. Hello again, channel members. Uh, this is another uh, on the move vlog. Um, I've, I've just checked out of the hotel slash hostel that I have just made the video for where well, I'm just, uh, you know, giving them a shout out um, between two or three minutes showing the facilities, the rooms, the hostels, the double room that I stayed in and then the kind of bigger rooms as well. So that's good. I've just used that first week, first four days in the private room, three days in um, a dorm. And then the deal was, um, which was good though, I, I didn't actually stay to an amount of days to stay there. But they, they said, oh, how is half a month? Uh, two weeks. So I was like, I didn't want to stay there for like 14 days consecutively. So I said, um, yeah, so like a week now. And then um, after I've done my little bit of traveling, two, three weeks around Taiwan, when I come back to Taipei, I will stay in the dorm for another week, which, which is good, it's fine. But there was a little bit of confusion actually, because when we sort of like were messaging and arranging it, um, yeah, they, they said, yeah, no, this sounds great, blah, 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 blah. Um, as long as you can get the video completed by the 21st. It's now the 22nd. I, yeah, I, I, it is my mistake, my bad. Basically, I haven't finished a video yet. For a couple of reasons, I wanted to, here in Ximen, I wanted to film at a hot pot restaurant, which I'm also making a video for, and they're just going to give me a free meal. The total cost of the hot pot is like, it's a lot, okay? It's not cheap here. And this is one of the best ones. It's a, it's a chain. They have about six or seven branches in um, Taipei. Anyway, they kind of let me down, and I wanted to, to incorporate that in the same video as uh, the hotel that I stayed at, you know? Yeah, so they kind of let me down and then it, I was thinking, I don't just want to throw any old crappy content into it because I want to make a good video for them. Uh, and that's why I'm kind of a little bit, a little bit late, but, but yeah, I, even in my head, I was, I didn't think like, okay, that's the absolute deadline. The, the 21st, like they wanted it posted by the 21st. And it, generally it's not a good idea anyway with like YouTubers or whoever, you know, vloggers, to post the video of a place they're staying at while they're still actually there, you know? Because there's crazy people. I, I had like crazy messages before, like, where are you staying? What hotel are you staying in? Like to my Dan vs Food Gmail, just on my, um, <coughs> on my actual uh, YouTube, YouTube messaging. So there's some weirdos out there, you know? And a couple of, um, YouTuber friends. I can't remember where they were now, but they told me that someone was like messaging them and was basically like following them. I know it's going a bit off track now of, of, what, of what I was saying, but yeah, the, these, this guy was like kind of following them and, and, then, and then it just got really, really weird. At one point they said like, oh, I, I saw you at, I saw you at blah, blah, blah. And they were like, oh my God, how the hell did he do that? So like, I know this is, nothing really but like some freaking crazy people out there you know really crazy people so yeah cut a long story short I, I didn't really want to post that the video anyway <coughs> while I was still staying there if you uh, if you know what I mean so okay <laughs> let me go let me get my train of thought back so I'm heading to um, this other place. It's near Taipei 101. Um, it's like a small private room. It's in a hostel again. It looks pretty nice and it's cheap. And the reason I'm going there is because, um, yeah, from today, yeah, Monday till Thursday. Is it Monday first day? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll get my dates mixed up. And um, I'm doing the substitute teaching at that school that I applied for. So it's like 10 a.m. now. I'm gonna go and check into this place and that's near. The school is kind of near. It's like a 10, 15 minute bus journey um, from there. But here to the school, it's a little bit far. So, but anyway, I have to, I have to check out the, all the rooms and dorms are full at this place anyway. So, um, 
God, it's so hot, guys. Seriously, it is unbelievably hot. Oh, that smells good. That is literally like, I love that smell. I wonder what it is. It's just like the smell of, I don't want to use the word China, but I think it is. <laughs> that just brought back memories of like the small, tiny alleys of Shanghai, you know. I can't really see where the smell's coming from though. Oh well. So yeah, I'm going to kind of the east side of the city now. And I'll stay there for three days. But, oh yeah, I've got a really busy schedule actually. Because I did message um, just a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of kind of hotels, hostels and blah, blah, blah. That's how I got this place. Because I'm not a huge YouTuber, so they don't contact me yet. <laughs> Hopefully they will do. Maybe when I get past like 20, 25,000 subscribers. I think that's generally when they, companies, businesses, blah, blah, whatever, product companies like start contacting you. Um, I don't know what I was saying now. <laughs> it happens at least once in, in every video. But this is pretty quick. I've only been vlogging for a few minutes. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. So, on tomorrow, tomorrow at 5.30, I have a, I have an, a reservation at a fine dining restaurant. The total cost of the meal is like... 150 pounds so it's quite a lot and it's just like one hour oh god and it's uh literally like really small like you know one of those kind of oh it's tiny there's like six or eight seats in there like you sit at the bar and then there's just literally like a chef behind uh, just preparing the dishes and the foods and stuff like that and it's like a set menu so i'm doing that tomorrow so i'll do that after my hour and a half uh sub class uh, my subs from three till half four so it's just an hour and a half each day this week monday to friday uh, so i'll film that and then oh yeah and then thursday so i check in thursday and friday this like four star hotel the riviera hotel here it looks amazing that is a hundred and 150 pounds a night so they want me to make a video for them, which uh, yeah, I would do. <coughs> but that video will actually just be there at the hotel, I think, because there's, there'll be quite a bit to film. I'll actually make like a proper sort of from promo video for them. And yeah, they've just got like this huge, amazing looking like breakfast buffet. So yeah, not just like toast and jam and coffee. Um, it's four star hotel style breakfast. So I'm doing that for, yeah, Thursday. Thurs, uh, check in Thursday, check out Saturday morning. But also, so I'll film all, all that on the Thursday. And then, oh God, dripping with sweat. So on the Thursday and then Friday morning, I'll film the breakfast buffet and then film a bit more at the hotel. So I've got all that footage done. I need to actually, sorry, I need to make sure I'm not going past my bus stop. I might have to cross soon. I think I do have to cross here. Yeah, yeah. And then, but Friday night, that's now when the hot pot restaurant is 100% confirmed. We just confirmed that yesterday. <coughs> and uh, apparently there's a typhoon coming in two days. So on Wednesday, there's a typhoon here. I can't remember the name of it. So everyone's sort of like preparing for that. But yeah, you wouldn't think it. Like It's absolutely beautiful here. Like, I wish at this hotel it doesn't have a swimming pool which is the shame otherwise I'd like definitely take advantage of that a rooftop swimming pool in this weather would be oh my freaking god like absolutely perfect uh, but yeah they're not really it's not pool culture here you know like in Thailand I think I said maybe in a video before in Thailand there's every single pretty much like if it's more than a three-star hotel they've got a swimming pool every condo swimming pool apartments swimming pool everything swimming pool but here it's got that kind of like fear of the sun culture you know it's a bit different but anyway um yeah so i'm doing that till saturday then oh, i've got uh, just a crazy schedule then I've, i'm traveling from sunday 
So on Sunday, so I need to find somewhere to stay sat just Saturday night here. And then, yeah, Sunday, sorry, I am getting a high-speed train down Kaohsiung, Kaohsiung, something like that. I'll put the name on here if I, if I remember. Um, yeah, it's like two and a half hours on the high-speed train. I think I'll try to book a, um, a business class seat because they're like, it's, I mean, it's not that expensive just for the normal seat because it's only two and a half hours. It's not like a six hour or eight hour high-speed trains like they have in China or, or Japan. So it's, um, I don't know, it's probably like 150 pounds, some, around about that, I think, for a ticket. But it'll be good to film, I think. Um, a bullet train video here in Taiwan. So I also have accommodation down that south, Kaohsiung. I think it's called Kaohsiung, the place. Uh, okay, I need to bus 20. Hold on. So I've got four days free stay in a hostel there. And again, another shout out. And then up a bit up the east coast, I have two other um, accommodations, which I'm getting free stay in. I don't think this is me. I'm not sure. Do you know what? I think I'm going to have to. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. 20. Bus 20. Oh, no, there's no 20 here. Look at that. What are the chances? Look at all of those flipping numbers. And there's no 20. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to check. Hopefully, hopefully I haven't walked past it. <clears throat> because... I just want to get on this flipping bus, you know? Um... Um... Ba -ba -ba. Work in 101, that's what it's called. Directions. side actually uh, oh that's probably why yeah we need to go north I think that's north no it's not oh no I'm losing it I'm losing it I'm, I'm losing the plot guys this is so difficult <laughs> you have no idea okay right bus 20 yeah just bus 20 bloody hell so unclear I don't know. I really don't know. Is it that other side? All right, back with you in a minute. Need to focus. All right, I think, I think it's over there. I think that's it. So yeah, we're just on this part here for now. But there's just one like little bus stop there by itself, which is weird. Usually the buses come on this sort of like middle part for, well, specifically buses in this lane. So, hopefully, with any luck, it's the uh, bus number 20 on there. And it says every 20 minutes, which is a little bit annoying. Um, hopefully, I don't have to wait too long, you know. Please say 20, please say 20, please, please say 20. Oh, 
usually really, really easy. I've never had this problem. The maps are always really accurate. And uh, yeah, I just go straight there and then, and then it's always directed. I'm always directed to the, to the correct bus stop. But I think there is, isn't there? Look at that, what's going on? So, yo, you can't really see that, can you? But yeah, it, it says I'm in the exact, exact location there where it's um, pointing me to. Still no bus 20, there's bus 20. Ugh, might be, I maybe just missed it and uh, da, 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 da. and it's just not showing on the board yet. to just keep checking keep checking so yeah anyway anyway it's quite a busy schedule of filming and um, filming the, the places you know accommodations and stuff like that restaurants um, but yeah so I'm planning to like I said to, to, to travel for two weeks probably two weeks I mean, it just sounds like a long time like or maybe even two to three weeks Three weeks sounds like a long time, but it is if you're just doing nothing and you're just, every morning you go wake up whenever, go and have a stroll around, go back hotel, chill, go out eat, you know, a normal tourist kind of style, but two weeks is not a long time. It absolutely flies by. I can't believe I've been in Taipei for one month now, literally one month. Made a few videos, then it's just time consuming, you know? It really is two weeks is nothing here if you're like just vlogging and stuff oh, okay right mm. I don't know what to do what should I do it's a nice breeze here though so I'm not actually complaining at the moment out of the sun I'm in the shade okay Okay, okay, so I found two different buses that I need to get onto. I think, yeah, I don't know why it didn't show me this at first. It goes from, you can't see that again. It goes from where I am now to almost near, I'm not sure if you can see the big, bigger white circle there. And uh, I, that's where I'm staying work, uh, working 101. So I can get on the bus, any of those. I can get on 270 Wii week 651 so I'm gonna do that okay let's check let's check let's check hope this is interesting for you <laughs> just bringing you along with me trying to figure out how to get across this city so 270 651 270 651 oh now it's saying that's probably over there isn't it yeah that's where I've got to go I think so, yeah, it says two minute walk now. All right, all right, all right. Let's get over to the other side where all of those bus numbers are. There was about 30, right? Okay, okay. Oh. oh. Well, at least uh, it's so much easier here to travel with transport. I mean, yeah, in Kuala Lumpur, it was, it's, it was good. But yeah, that time when I made that really long vlog, if you remember, <laughs> it took me like an hour to find that hostel going around in absolute circles. <clears throat> um, I could probably, I should probably not cross there. That's stupid of me, isn't it? I'm being lazy. I'm gonna cross where I'm supposed to cross. It's actually, I thought it was a bit earlier than two, but it's 11 o'clock now, so still got plenty of time. I already, um, spent uh well i already sort of knew what i was going to do in the subclass today i don't know the materials are pretty easy a class of five students um talking about why we don't like certain things i think that's it yeah um foods weather shit like that so it should be fun five students is good okay um sometimes sometimes <clears throat> and to be honest i haven't been in the classroom like properly for, for a few years now but with my demos that i did already in the schools it just sort of came back to me you know and uh, i mean i've been teaching online until the until they fired hundreds of thousands of teachers the chinese government 
um, and it's kind of similar you just have to be quite energetic and stuff like that but not not too clown like just a little bit yeah like be professional a professional clown basically um, yes so I've got enough time I have I have four hours <laughs> I think this bus is like 20 minutes okay I can't remember those numbers again now Ooh, why don't they have air-conditioned bus stops here what's going on with this world cray cray it's not even the hottest bloody part or time sorry of uh, of the summer here yet so what's the bus number again 270 651 270 I was thinking, where is it? Uh, it has to be that one, doesn't it? If it's broken. 270-651-651-651. Okay, maybe I can't. 270 is fine. 270 is good. Check out this sweat dripping off me. And everyone's staring at me. That's probably not helping with my anxiety right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute. I'm the center of attention. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. The second I turned that camera off, Everyone's head just, just turned back to, 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 back to what, the, what they were originally doing before, before staring at me. It's really weird. I mean, yeah, I guess I would stare. Would I stare and look if someone's filming or vlogging or something? I'm not sure. Maybe for a second I'll look and be like, oh, okay. But I wouldn't like just go. They do, they like to stare here. Like in India, oh no, nothing's as bad as India. Literally. They're the worst. <laughs> They're the worst starers on the planet. Literally. Oh God. I remember just staring at them back. After like a week, I just got so, so annoyed and bored of it. I just stare at them. And sometimes direct staring would be for at least like maybe 15 or 20 seconds before they turn and I wouldn't turn you know so it doesn't sound like a long time but but it is it, it, when you're staring at someone in the eyes for that long it's a long time okay 270 270 where is my bus oh cool the Taipei Film Academy 2023 in September, September the anniversary of it. International Filmmaker Forum, Filmmakers Workshop, Digital World Forum, Cinematography Forum. Okay, that's cool. It's been a few minutes now, still haven't got any 270. Uh, all those buses, there's so many, I don't understand. So many numbered buses. Uh, oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. And yeah, I was just, uh, yeah, I forgot to say about, um, about what I'm gonna film in that free accommodation hotel that I just stayed in video, yeah? Because I wanna film something decent. But these people there, they want the video done and released by Wednesday. But like I said, I'm going to the hot pot restaurant on Friday. So um, there is a Shaolong Bao place. It is like literally the best uh, soup dumplings in the world that I've ever, ever tried. I, I was just having a chill day the other day, uh, or a little while ago, and just stumbled upon that place. I had no, no idea about it. And it's right there, right, like literally two minutes walk from, from where I was staying in that hotel. However, it's closed. It was closed yesterday and today. So that's another sort of predicament. And I think that'll be a really good idea to, to film there. It's so good. When I looked it up online, amazing views, and it's actually a really famous place. So that would also help get the views. Um, and it being in so, such close walking distance, two minutes, less than two minutes from the, from the accommodation, that would work as well um, in favor of the video, you know? Not like filming something on the other side of the city when I'm like showcasing the hotel here in Timur. So yeah, 
that that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow morning it's open so I've got to, <laughs> I've got to make my way back here tomorrow to film that uh, which shouldn't take long it's just dumplings I'll film them preparing it stuff like that um, well fingers crossed that they allow me that's another thing another kind of worry uh, but I'm sure they will when I ate there they were really friendly really nice uh, and could speak a bit of English so hopefully there's no issues with that I'll just rock up with my camera and yeah I'll force them because yeah tomorrow's Tuesday so I have to film that tomorrow morning have to have to have to have to oh shit no no sorry I'm confused I'm confusing myself it's closed today it's closed Monday and Tuesday so I am going to be filming it Wednesday morning okay this is the stress and pressure of vlogging sometimes when you are like yeah I'm filming that morning and then I have to edit or put that footage into the already edited I'm going to pre-edit and have it all out of the way the the hotel stuff yeah on the uh, on the timeline so I don't have to do it all at once so uh, I hope that makes sense probably doesn't but then yeah I've got to get that done before my subclass Wednesday afternoon yeah so it's all a bit like it's all a bit crazy sort of I don't know it's probably not but I just stress myself out sometimes uh, what the flipping out is this bus oh my god seriously now what the hell oh my freaking house like every bus is coming except for my bus and I have two I have two options this is mental if it's not here in the next five minutes I think I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get an uber because annoyingly even though the train line is just there I could get the underground train but then it is more than it's like a 22 minute walk from the the train line stop where I'm going uh, to the hostel the hotel I just don't want to be walking 20 minutes right now if I could just get on this bus it's a three minute walk from the bus stop and I'll much prefer that I don't want to be getting all sweaty and horrible like I stink already a little bit so yeah maybe an air-conditioned uber would be it would be an option if if these friggin buses do not rock up okay I'm gonna give it two more minutes and I've decided yeah I think the uber will be a, maybe a little bit expensive so I'm gonna do it not gonna be lazy well it's not lazy I'm mean, bore the cable of walking 10 hours if I want to but it's just this heat yeah uh, it really is and walking and vlogging and trying to go in a direction where a place I've never been before it's a little bit of a mission you know but yeah I'm gonna do it anyway okay two more minutes if basically the bus right 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 low in the distance is not my bus then I'm just gonna jump in the underground get the train and do that 20 minute walk so I'll be there in about 40 or 45 minutes from now it's half 11 half 11 still got plenty of time before my my class even though I want to get there at like half two it's got to prepare um, the I'm sure they've done it for me already prepare the, the video <laughs> and the audio as well for the for the materials but yeah it's good to be early I guess better early than late right 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 okay so that it's not my bus Right, I'm getting the I'm getting the train, I'm not waiting any longer. And you know what? Once I just get over there, magically three two seven zero buses will will park up. And the six five one, probably a couple of them as well. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm not gonna look behind. I'm not gonna look. Oh, someone with a camera. It's gonna stare. Stare, 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 stare. Right. Exit entrance free. Oh, it's 
someone's just left their bag there open with clothes that's a little bit weird Ooh. oh that's nice you can feel the aircon already really nice Sun Yat Sen Memorial Hall. Okay, Sun Yat Sen. Banan line down. Oh God, I want an, I want an escalator. It's nice down here. I don't know how they air condition this. Like, this has never happened in, in London. Seriously. I think even in Tokyo, the stations are. It's only the trains that are air conditioned. But yeah, it's a nice breeze. Um, yeah. the last stop Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center that's um, about as far east as you can get here in Taipei please do not smoke eat drink chew gum or betel nut in the Taipei Metro system thank you Oh, that's so bright. I don't think you can even make that. Please do not smoke, eat, drink, chew gum, or so we are in metro system. Thank you. See, man? We are going to go. Sun Yat Sen Memorial Hall, and then I need to walk like to somewhere, somewhere in there. Shindia. Please do not be going there. Platform 1 for Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center. Platform 1 for Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center. Bloody walk. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. You're probably like, ah, oh, man up. Man up, Dad. <laughs> it's just horrible. 
25, 25, like 70p, cheap, Chen Cheng. what's all this for, nice artwork I think, maybe a gallery nearby. Again, I really need to figure out which way to go. Okay, yep, so it's there and then right and then straight down. Oh, oh, oh. Then straight down. Okay, okay, that's pretty that's pretty easy actually. Kind of knew it would be that I mentioned before that the layout of Taipei is pretty convenient. Yeah. So yeah, here and then right, and then it, I think literally a 20 minute walk. Bloody hell. It looks like a school there. The Maple Tree Academy. Canadian school. And there's Taipei 101. So top part of it anyway. Hopefully from the view from my hostel we can see it. But probably not. Probably not. <coughs> I'm getting a little bit hungry now, you know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If we pass something that's quick and easy, I might just grab grab something. But I'm not sure what. I don't want anything heavy, you know. I want. Uh, what do I want? No idea. Bacon sandwich would be good. Marmite on toast. Vodka. Pizza. Of course, just try and stay in the shade for as long as humanly possible. There, it's just like hell. Oh, no, I've got to go into hell. Oh, yeah. Bloody hell, that. Rainbow 
Radium One. Hmm. It's the shape of a gallery, I'd say, but I just don't know. A pretentious gallery. Saying, look at me. God, I just absolute nonsense. So, this area is new to me. Like, I, I have been here before, sort of there, but I mean, where I'm going, I haven't been to, oh, to that part of the city before. So, I wonder what it's like. I don't know. Hopefully, it's nice. All the city's nice, actually. Snow factory there. showered today yeah I showered last night but I'm really hoping that they allow me to just get a shower and freshen up and that so I'm getting to some clean clothes for the for the school because check-ins not until three o'clock so yeah and I didn't shower this morning knowingly that this could potentially happen yeah there's just no point there is no point it's a waste of time Waste of water, waste of energy, waste of everything. So, if not, I'll just have to like splash myself down in the in the toilet or something, in the sink. Yeah. It's a nice city though, right? Look at it. Tropical city in the middle of Asia. I really like it. Okay, shade, 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 shade. And because I have been quite busy recently, um, yeah, and if I get this job at this school, like they, they offer me a contract hopefully they will because it's a pretty nice school then I'm looking forward to um, doing some viewings but yeah I'll have like two weeks before the academic year starts to do that so plenty of time uh, yeah 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 getting my own place which would be good dumplings noodles mm, not really don't want that right now like a little buffet place definitely don't want a buffet now yeah look at that a lot huge selection of stuff there it's all right looks pretty good but if i eat a big meal like that now i'll just sleep just get lazy trust me being full like really really full in this climate it's probably one of the worst feelings in the world you know it's pretty funny like, it was yesterday yesterday um i posted the steak video but like a few hours before i went to the back to the restaurant because it's nearby in Men where i was staying um but they don't speak much english so i went there with the translation on google saying um oh the video will be released at six o'clock like today um thank you and before he even read the message all he was saying all he was saying to me was t-bone 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 in this sort of like yeah chinese broken sort of pronunciation i was like t-bone t-bone and he just like ushered me upstairs <laughs> and basically forced me to <laughs> just gave me a meal gave me a f another meal for free i was like oh my god no i can pay i can pay for this one uh, he was like no 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 money no money <laughs> i've got a little video of it <clears throat> well him bringing the the t-bone steak to the table and 
my god i've never had a t-bone steak before and if you haven't either i would recommend it <laughs> it's a really good cut i think it might be like i don't know it's like it might be my favorite now actually the other cuts some of them are like really really tender but this one is like quite tender but it's like meaty at the same time which is what i quite like in steak this obviously is awesome when it the steak just melts in your mouth which is what happened on the actual main video but yeah he was just like just brought me up there i was quite hungry actually but not like that hungry it was it was massive i think it's a 14 ounce it was a 14 ounce t-bone but it seemed like it was like two huge steaks on either side of the the t line like one of those steaks is more than enough but there's two of them <laughs> so yeah i'll try and pop that little that video when he brings it to the table and lifts the lid off of the sizzling hot plate thing i think i've got it on my other phone oh yeah people here are very friendly extremely friendly Mostly, I would say, 98% of the time, you still get the odd kind of, I don't know, weird, weird manners, but it's not weird, man. It's just weird to me. I think it's just the culture of difference. But here, like, people are smiley. They are friendly. They are talkative. They are helpful and stuff. But just a couple of times, I've noticed, just a couple gonna happen everywhere though isn't it if you stay in a place for longer than a few days then that's yeah well what's this squid fish lobster looks like a hot pot place maybe no oh yeah 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 it's like a little individual hot pot i can see the the whole circular hole in the table where they they put the coals underneath and then boiling pot on top God, I really hope I'm going the right way. Is that a mannequin? Oh, no. God, I'll be halfway there now, right? put shoes there yeah okay okay uh shoe rack here um yeah but yeah i can't check in until until three but i won't be here then anyway so i'll go to my room at whenever i finish the um what do you call it the school the class hmm disabled access. I wonder if there's more seating up here. Uh, no. But, we've got an outdoor bit. Let's get out here. Okay, cool. Little, uh, well, tiny little seating area there. It actually has a kitchen. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, what can you do with that? Boil an egg. That's about it, I'd say. Nice view. Water dispenser. And yeah, I can't go through here yet. Ah, that might be my room. Why can't I check in then? It's, uh, my room is made up. They're pretty strict on it here. Like, if I owned an accommodation, <clears throat> hostel, whatever, and the bed was available, I would let that person uh, just go in there. But here they're just so strict. They're just like, three o'clock check-in, no. Cannot do it. Maybe like one minute before. Oh yeah, okay. Right, I'm gonna try and freshen up. There's a toilet somewhere. 
I wonder if there's a toilet. Yeah, there's another one there as well. But no toilet. Oh well. So I just asked and the receptionist said no. Not allowed to check in. It's 250 Taiwanese dollars for for one hour. Which is half the price of the, the 24 hours. So. A little bit annoying, right? <laughs> and yeah, so I can't shower. I can't shower. I... <sighs> so annoying. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, channel members, I'm gonna end this video here. I think um, I might just cool down, try to. It's not that cold in here, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, try to freshen up. I might just go for a quick little wander around and try and find some small, really small snack. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you soon. Peace out.